Where is he then? That's a bit of a concern that I can't see him. That's a bit of a worry. I'm going to have to turn around and go back. He's come off, hasn't he? Must have done. Oh yeah, fuck me, he's come off. That don't look right, what's it doing there? It <laughs> you alright? Is the bike alright? So oh fuck me, I hope you got it on footage. I'll just turn round then. Oh, the thing is though, it's an adventure, isn't it? I just thought I'd have a look. I'll turn round. Oh shit. He's awesome, isn't he? <laughs> Fucking hell. Well, I had a little accident. <sighs> oh, there we go. Yes, I can't put that down, can I? Oh. How exciting! I was. So you were in there, were you? Yeah. Awesome. I was riding along thinking, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know what Lee meant, <laughs> and the drop in his bike. Yeah. Mind you, not being funny, these tyres obviously ain't meant for theirs. <laughs> She's alright though, isn't she? It was very slow. I lowered it down rather than crash. Yeah. No. How exciting! You, yeah. yeah, she's all right. Look, there's nothing. Yeah. Good job you got these on. Kind of what it's for. Yeah. Tell me, he ain't come off again. He ain't come off again. No. No, can't off. Shit. Well, that doesn't look so good. You alright? Yeah, what? I'd Hello, I thought I'd have a rest. What? Thought I'd have a rest. <laughs> Hang on, I'll come around that side. It's <laughs> alright, got it. Can you try to stop doing that? Is that alright? That's not. Is it not? No, that was out straight. And now it's a bit more like you. Remember what they say about a 450 is a bit too heavy? Yeah. A 1200 is as well. Oh, then it proper. I've the handlebar. Oh, you've broke the fucking... I've done that. Oh! Well, 
I got a knot off. <laughs> What's the knot off of? <laughs> What's that off of? <laughs> well, that ain't no good to you, but it's a memento, isn't it? Even there. That's off summit. I don't want to stay no more. No. No. I'm out of my comfort zone. But it's an adventure though, isn't it? <laughs> Wookie just said, can we go home now? <laughs> I'm a bit broke. Right, I'll turn round. How exciting! You can see the smoke over there, look. Oh, it's just a fucking, it's just a controlled burn. That's all that is. You can see it through the trees. Look at that, fucking hell. Don't go in that Wookie for fuck's sake. <laughs> <coughs> fucking hell. Yeah. Yeah, if you went in that and a ki oh, hello. Nice horse. Ah, oh, don't think we should have gone up. I think it's closed. Huh. Look at this back and front. That was exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> Some of it. <laughs> I tell you, this thing goes. It's all right. It don't hang about. I'm really impressed with this. This is all right. Am I still recording? Yeah, well this battery's lasting, makes a change. I'm really impressed. I like it, Wookie. Oh, it's got a bit of a... Uh, that oil cooler's not in a great position because um, all the crap comes straight off the front wheel and goes straight in there. That's a bit of a shit design, isn't it? That's a bit of a shit design look, Wookie. All the caca comes off. What do you mean? What do you mean? Of course it is, it's a scrambler. That is what they call them with their pub bike. A bar hopper? Bar hopper. No, it's a scrambler. Oh, are you on about those hipster types? Do you reckon? No, it's not, is it? Actually, saying that, there is a, there's a good YouTube channel actually called The Bearded Explorer. You want to check that out? He's pretty awesome. I like watching it. I'm subscribed to him. He's good. Um, yeah, I don't think he's one of those hipster types, but he's a he's a cool young dude. Finds some awesome places. Um, all these abandoned cars and abandoned houses and shit, but still. So I'm really impressed. Yes, yeah, so I reckon if you want a bike to do everything, blatting around, going to work, going out with your mates, going off road, I rest my case. I mean, you would think that's really shit, but it's actually not. It's all right. You wouldn't think so, would you? But it's not too bad. I'm going to get a drink now. Delightful. I'm still videoing, yeah. I don't know, am I? Is it, is it still on? 
Yeah, look what you've done to me. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I think you did really well, Wookie. <laughs> uh, it's all right. If I'd have cut, if I'd have dropped my GS, I'd I'd have been a, a whole world of. But. But. but foot yeah, but. It's just a lever, a brake lever, and bend that out. That needs to come in that way a bit. Yeah. Other than that, she's fine. I think so. Isn't she? Are you okay, Wookie? I'm in pain. Are you? Where? In my leg and my shoulder. Are you alright? That's all fine, thank you. Okay. What coffee do you want? Um. I'm on my way back to Bristol now with this little puppy. I'll give it a go on the motorway, innit? Um. I think to summarise with this bike, if you only wanted one bike, this could very well be it because I think you could actually do everything on this I mean granted where I took it yesterday most people probably I reckon most people would do a bit of like that kind of thing you know because I mean it's a scrambler Wookie was saying afterwards oh it's not really a scrambler it's just a cafe race with knobbly tyres on it um, yeah but you know, it's called a scrambler, so you're going to go off-road a little bit, and you? Surely. But anyway, I mean, I'm on the motorway, I'm doing 72-ish, and it's fine. Uh, you can go off-road with it, and it's more than capable. Uh, yeah, I don't know how much they are, I I'll have to find out how much they are and I'll, I'll put it at the end of the video but um, I think it's really cool it looks cool it sounds awesome once you get used to riding it around a corner it's awesome um, yeah I, I don't actually think there's anything I don't like it's got heated grips um, I don't understand what this menu button here actually does other than a trip meter don't, but that's because I don't know uh, but yeah it looks cool and funky it sounds awesome it rides really good once you get I reckon it takes about I don't know let's say half an hour to an hour if, if you haven't ridden one before to get used to what it goes around the corner like because if you can imagine a motocross bike with knobbly tires on it on the road but with a shorter um, wheelbase I reckon that would be pretty close to what it's like riding it around the corner when you first get used to it but now, once, you, once you're used to it, it's completely fine um, it's got pillion foot pegs and you can get someone on the back so if, you, if, you're, uh, you know, if you're a hipster type and um, you see a young man that you fancy and, you, and you've got a spare helmet with you or you just want to be reckless and just throw him on the back and take him home um, you know that's, that's all good um, if you're not a hipster type and you see a young lady and you want to take the same thing you know or, or either or whichever or both whatever um, so yeah I, I think it's a really cool bike if you if you just flatting into work and you want something that's easy to move around I mean I just went in got this out of the garage no problem you know just wheeled it straight out of the garage it's got loads of power I'm really impressed with the power I'm really fussy um, and I can't I can't think of anything that's negative about it maybe it's going to be the price because I don't know how much they are um, easy to clean could do with a bit of a better clean to be totally honest with you but um, yeah I like it I really like it I wouldn't mind one in actual fact I wouldn't want one in this paint scheme though I don't, I don't, I'm not too keen on this paint scheme but I have seen some really cool ones 
Yeah, I can't think of anything that's crap about it. It's got hazards, it's got heated grips. It hasn't got cruise control, but let's be honest, you don't need that on something like this. Yeah, I can't find anything I don't like about it. It's a really cool bike. Anyway, um, let's get back to Bristol, get it filled up with fuel, and get my GS back. I love the noise this makes. Yeah, I got used to cornering this little puppy now. I like this, I'm getting right into this. Right, let's get in and see what's going on. Let's have a look at my new exhaust. Ooh! Look how shiny that is! Wunderbar! Look at that! wonder if they fixed me a uh, pillion foot peg. Yeah. Yeah, they're good lads. Morning bitches! <laughs> How is it? You what? Yeah, I cleansed it. Right. Let's get out of here then, go to Fowler's and swap my gloves. Oh, that's a bit different. Right. Bloody hell, look at that. March to Escort. Do you know what? I gotta say, yeah, March to Escort. Squirrel. I gotta say, I'm not under any obligation to say anything about these guys here. Um, Dick Lovett's Bristol BMW Motorrad, but bearing in mind I deal with car main dealers a lot for my through my job. So I do have dealings with main dealers, and do you know what? None of them, none of them are like these guys, especially Mercedes. They are probably the worst. Um, I can say that, it's fine. But these guys at BMW in Bristol, Dick Lovitz, um, I, I think a lot of main dealers could actually come here and be schooled how to, you know, customer service skills. I mean, um, I mean, they just, you know, they're, they're, they're a good laugh, they're, they're part of the, um, I don't know, they're like, you, you build a relationship, don't you? Do you know what I mean? I mean, I, you know, obviously I've got a garage and I, you know, I'm a bit of a joker and I'm always fucking about, but, you know, seriously, you, you build a relationship with your customers and they become your mates. I mean, I've got quite a lot of mates that, you know, started off as just customers. Um, and, and those guys there, they're, they're awesome, you know? Nothing's nothing's a problem for them. They know how to look after people. Whereas most of these other dealerships, they literally couldn't give a toss. They just couldn't care less. Not interested. Treat you like a piece of shit. I mean, I went to test ride those Harleys at Riders in Bridgewater. I sat there over 45 minutes. Nobody would even bothered. I was about to spend nearly 20 grand on a bike. They're just not bothered. Couldn't care less. A Maidstone Harley Davidson. Um, I tried to buy a bike off them, as I said in one of my other videos. Tried to buy an FXDR off them. Weren't interested. Weren't interested. Um, so yeah. That's my summary of that.